because today we have a wow factor, I know. But before we get started, I want to thank Greenleaf Wholesale for being a beautiful partner and supplying all these things behind us. If you're planning a wedding and you're, you know, stuck in the backyard and not at the art museum or the Sentinel or some lavish venue, and you're like, how can I make it better? So what we're doing is we're going to teach you, I'm going to get out of the way, how to make a swing. I know, isn't it gorgeous? So um, you got to be a little bit patient because we're going to laden it with flowers. Anyway, so we built this uh, uh, swing. We found a piece of wood in the back and it's kind of distressed barn wood, I guess. So uh, Caesar, who's awesome, who works there and is behind the camera back there, he put this together, and I would suggest if you're gonna do it in your backyard, you probably need to go to Home Depot or some sort of uh, hardware store and grab some thick rope. So what he did is he hung it from the ceiling. He made two matching loops, right? And he tied them in a knot, and then he looped it on the end, and then he slipped it on here like this, and then tied it to the vertical piece. So see how flouncy and beautiful it is? So if you wanted to do the rope, but you're like, Kim, I love the satin ribbon, that's so pretty, then you could actually put the satin ribbon over the rope and hide that if you wanted. So today we are going to make this thing full of Smilax, wild Smilax, then we're going to put floral on. So anyway, check this out. This is our little Oasis product. It's a garland. It has little tubes, sausages, of Oasis in this net. So I soaked it about 24 hours, actually. I threw it in a bucket with a little bit of preservative. And, um, and then I left these zip ties. We zip tied every two sausages. And it looks pretty good. So you can see that I did like a little asymmetrical. So there's a little shorter piece here and a little bit longer piece here because you know what? I can and I wanted some drama. Check this out. This is called toffee. I know, it's so crazy. It's like terracotta meets porcelain meets your latte um, meets pure bliss, right? I don't know. We just keep looking at it. You buy them a little bit early and condition them so they, they open all up because usually they are tight. So this is kind of a special order thing, but so delicious. And I, I'm gonna put it in focal spots where it just really pops. Um, we have these beautiful dahlias. We have, um, ooh, forgot about this. This I actually bought special for my sister-in-law because they are celebrating their 15th wedding anniversary, but these are Gloriosa lilies. And we're also gonna put those in some special spots. So. I think, I think I need to start. I got some work to do here. Okay, check this out. This is, sometimes it's called Southern Smilax. Sometimes it's called Wild Smilax. And I'm just gonna green it in. I'm gonna keep my greenery and my flowers a little bit tight. So this stuff is just so cool. It's like this organic, beautiful vines and it makes anything look sexy and wild and organic and magical and beautiful. <laughs> can I think of any more birds? It's pretty much perfect. Another thing you can do with this swing is you can do a bigger swing and you could do it kind of chest high. And what if it became like a wedding cake uh, stand or you could even put a bar there. Wouldn't it be awesome for a bar? Or I don't know, some sort of like, you know how sometimes at weddings you go and there's like a little memory table of all the grandparents or people that are with us in spirit? That would be pretty too. This is looking a little wild, but don't worry, we'll trim. And don't worry, I'll cut my zip ties. <laughs> Caesar just reminded me that we made this crazy cake swing and one of our customers has very opulent, beautiful taste. Anyway, we ended up making this 8x8x8 plexiglass 
I don't know, little room. It had these beautiful columns. And then we were able to suspend a plexiglass hanging cake stand. And the cake turned out so cool. It was so pretty. I think I can use a combination of gray green and green green. This is seeded eucalyptus. This always looks awesome. And you can see that I'm pointing the greenery facing down. And you can see I'm just throwing everything on the floor. That's what we do here. <laughs> Here's a little bit of white hypericum berry. That looks really pretty. So I'm just going to continue up my sausages. And I'm going to keep adding a little bit of plant material. And you can see I'm going kind of fast, but I'm cleaning off all the greenery, stripping it like this with my hands, giving it a fresh cut, and then plunging it in at least two inches so my plant material can drink. you got to peel away the guard petals, and I'm only really cutting in about three inches because I want it to be ridiculous. And by ridiculous, I mean really full and lush and kind of opulent. So I, this is still looking a little random because you have all these angles and you're thinking, Kim, does that look okay? But I promise once I get it all laid in, you'll go, oh, it does look okay. Sometimes, you know, uh, you have to stop thinking. When I teach flower design, one of the main things I teach is not to think too much. Sometimes we do that here all the time, and so we have a saying called the slam and jam. Okay, so this is stressing me out right now, but I'll fix it. But these flowers are kind of lined up, so I'm just going to move this one up a little bit so it's a little uh, not so even. You kind of have to commit because if you pull it in and out, in and out, in and out, then it breaks. So you can kind of see that I have some mechanics. And so what I mean by that is you don't want to see my, you know, my zip ties, my oasis, that kind of thing. So I'm going to clip those. And then I have been filling in with uh, dahlias, these beautiful apricot roses, these beautiful burnt orange roses. This is hanging amaranth. This is another thing that's so sexy and beautiful. And I went ahead and put three pieces in. I don't know if you can see, so one here, one kind of there, and then one up high. So I guess if you sit on the swing, <laughs> this will be dangling. I don't know if you can see on camera, but I have a ginormous mess below my feet. So don't panic when you make this stuff, just you can lay it down a drop cloth and just slam and jam because the more you think and you stop like, oh my God, I gotta clean or like, oh, does this look okay? It's gonna mess it up, <laughs> okay? You want to have kind of a natural rhythm. I think I'm going to add all these. I'm definitely a flower knife girl. So Swiss Army makes these knives and there's all sorts of different blades, but I like this. Um, I've been doing this a long time, 27 years, and I haven't got any carpal tunnel. If you l use clippers, you guys, after a bunch of uses, this is really hard on your tendons and you want to age gracefully, right? And we don't want to break. I don't want to break. Because um, I still have so much stuff to make. I'm going to pre-cut a bunch of stuff. And the other thing, um, I always teach my new designers to use the knife. And um, it's a little tricky, so you want to kind of hold it in your hand. And you want to pull the product away from you, right? Like that. And otherwise you'd go, <laughs> yeah, not a good look. So you kind of have to do it at a right angle, like a, not a right angle, like a 45 degree angle and slice it off. And you want this really nice 45 degree angle because then the flowers 
drink more, they drink, they have better water absorption. And then for this particular product or assignment that we're doing, they stick in the oasis so well. It's like a little knife, right? I'm gonna go ahead and put these ever so often because they're just gonna look so pretty, right? We're going to put these beauties. Ah. Okay, so we need to put it at eye level. What do you think? Is it pretty? Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Okay. So, wouldn't this be beautiful in the backyard? And if I was getting married, I'd probably make it a little bit bigger, right? So, bride and groom. But if I was having my bar mitzvah, wouldn't it be really cool if there was balloons and all sorts of funness? I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks to Caesar behind the camera and the creative genius and also to Greenlee. Bye, I love you.